President Rodrigo Duterte on Tuesday tells lawmakers about new terror plots in Mindanao in an urgent meeting held in Malacanang. Senate Majority Leader Tito Soto says Duterte gave updates on the status in Mindanao after Congress extended the declaration of martial law in the area until December 31. He says three areas in Mindanao are under threat. Soto says, quote, They have discovered new plans of terrorists in other areas in Mindanao. He wants us posted on developments. Aside from Soto, other senators present in the three-hour meeting were Senate President Coco Pimentel, Minority Leader Franklin Drilon, Senator Dick Gordon, and Senator Panfilo Lacson. House Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez and Majority Leader Rodolfo Farinas are also there. Asked why opposition Senator Drilon was invited, Soto says, quote, Duterte wanted the minority to know the updates and hear our inputs also. Aside from Mindanao, Soto says they also discussed the controversy hounding the Bureau of Customs, the tax reform bill, and the proposal to postpone the barangay elections. Duterte supposedly told lawmakers he would first wait for the findings of the House and Senate investigations into the smuggling of 6.4 billion pesos worth of shabu from China before deciding what to do next. Lawmakers earlier criticized Customs Commissioner Nicanor Faildon following the controversy, but Duterte on Tuesday expressed his full confidence in Faildon. Soto also says the president told the lawmakers they have that elbow room on tax reform and local polls postponement bills. This is in contrast with Duterte's statement in his second State of the Nation address, where he told senators that he wants them to pass his version of the tax reform bill in its entirety.